special big show, New Year, New You, with a special new guest, Dr. Jen Ashton. Dr. Jen's not new, of course. She's here with us almost every morning. We're dedicating this morning's broadcast to improving your life in the new year inside and out. And speaking of outsides, the American Society of Plastic Surgeons says more than 12 million procedures were performed in the U.S. last year. That is up 60% in the past eight years. Recession? What recession? A little nip and tuck? Maybe is it right for you? What do you want to know before you go under the knife? We're going to answer those questions for you this morning. Joining us with the latest cutting-edge procedures, Dr. Anthony Yoon, who's a board-certified plastic surgeon in Michigan. Good to have you with us in the studio Thank this morning. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Turns out, I was, I was not completely surprised, mildly surprised to learn that breast enhancements, breast augmentation, was, I, I believe, the most popular plastic surgery yep. procedure last year, more than 300,000 women. Exactly, yeah. And there's so much talk about, we've heard conflicting reports. Is it, is it still safe? Is it not? There are different types um, that you have with you here. This is the saline one. Yeah, so the saline one, the good thing is nobody worries about safety, but the problem, if you feel it, it just doesn't feel It's a little natural. squishy. So now we're actually using a lot they of feel silicone. feel like, like they're a little older. Exactly. <laughs> now we are using the silicone. Pretty if you can feel of this and see what you think. It definitely feels more natural than the saline. How does that feel, Jeff? <laughs> Lovely. Just been looking forward to this morning. Appreciate all that. All morning. There you but go. But people are still a little bit well, afraid of And studies silicone. show that they don't leak. They're still cohesive, but people are still afraid. So the newest thing are the gummy bear implants. Now, they're not FDA approved yet. This okay. is the closest thing that we have to it. This is actually not, not as firm as a gummy bear implant, but it looks like that, but it literally feels like a gummy bear. Now, do you have to, because some of these, uh, I was told that you have to replace, what, every 10 years sometimes? Do you have well, to replace the gummy bear, too? there's always a risk of reoperation. Right. Exactly. Right? And so the implants do actually have a 10 year warranty like a car they have a 10-year okay. warranty on them so you should expect they should last at least 10 years but expecting them to last more than 20 25 is probably unrealistic and just in terms of cost anywhere from six to nine thousand dollars depending on which one exactly okay. saline implants cheaper gummy bears when they come out probably the most expensive and again both relevant for cosmetic uh, augmentation as well as reconstruction after breast cancer now exactly. what about liposuction well, I call it the yeah. vacuum procedure <laughs> it's it's like it's like a vacuum. Yeah. well traditionally this is what we use for liposuction and I use this on almost all my patients but the newest hottest thing in liposuction surgery is laser lipo and this is a smart lipo it's the gold standard of laser liposuction oh. surgery and the idea behind wow. it it actually has a laser fiber right at the end that you can see wow. comes out and it melts the fat before you take it out so instead of just so sucking I, it out you melt it and favorite. then does that mean that you get more fat out at once well the idea is, is that it's less invasive you have less bleeding less mm -hmm. downtime most surgeons do this actually under a local anesthetic in their office oh wow so it's a yeah. fairly hmm. quick procedure but what what is that going to cost us when it comes to liposuction uh, it depends on how much you need done right so <laughs> anywhere from three thousand probably at the minimum up to ten thousand even more okay. if you're having a lot removed okay let's talk injectables I think we have we have a model over here. We have a very, uh, so, we have can, a very so we can talk about our a very brave model indeed. We're talking about Botox now. Oh, are you perfect. are you injecting? No, I'm going to yeah. be okay, a yeah, doctor's okay. assistant. Right. Well, Botox is the most popular cosmetic procedure. Last year, over five million people underwent Botox injections. Wow. Believe it or not, and relatively so, easy. The, but the problem with Botox is it's expensive, and so there's a new one out there called Dysport, and it's about 20% cheaper than Botox. And some people think it actually works a little faster. Really? So, so gonna, and, and the effect as you as you as you're injecting, yeah. as you're doing the injection here, because it is such a quick procedure, as you'll see this morning. A couple little injections. What is the effect of both Botox or, or this new procedure, and how long does it last? Uh, the, the effect basically is it can remove the wrinkles of the upper face. Okay. So it smooths the wrinkles about three to four months, really the closest thing we have in plastic surgery to the fountain of youth. We have about 20 seconds to talk about lasers as well, and we have someone else here going to demonstrate that. Exactly. Now, lasers are basically used to heat up the skin to tighten them up, and this is the E-Matrix, and this is the newest type of treatment to, to tighten up skin. It actually uses radio frequency, and the difference between radio frequency and lasers is that radio frequency causes heating up of the deep surface of the skin, mm -hmm. but does not actually burn the surface uh, at the top. Now, are you feeling this at all while he's doing this to your face? You don't feel it at all? Not even any heat? A little bit of heat, but not. How much? Uh, this is about $750 of treatment. Uh, we usually recommend three treatments spaced every four to six weeks okay. apart. And it's so hands. important to go to someone who is board certified, who does a lot of these procedures. Board certified plastic surgeon. Absolutely. Yes. And make sure, we talked about this, Jen made a great point earlier, make, have realistic expectations when you go That's into right. That's right. Exactly. Great to have you with us. Thank, thank you very much. Ladies, thank, thank you, you both as well. You. Being here this morning, just ahead, if you're new you in 2010, likes to eat healthy and likes mint layer brownies, you're in luck because you can do both. Our chef on a shoestring has the recipe this morning. You're watching The Early Show on CBS.